She just a little dirty. Yikes. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just fairly recently landed back in Calgary after a bit of a extended stint out in British Columbia with my family. And I gotta go pick up my little girl. I got about 40 minutes till I gotta grab her. Just a little bit more than that. And yeah, the Irish Pirate Queen. Well, there's no nice way to put it other than she dirt nasty. So we gotta go wash her. And also she's having an absolute anxiety attack when it comes to her tires so let's see if we can get that a little bit better yikes oh good our crack has gotten much worse as well excellent good to know good to know hopefully this is good enough to get us where we need to go it ain't that far it's just up the hill then we're gonna stop and we're gonna get some mail and I do, I also want to get some diesel clean flow stuff or whatever. I can't, I'm not hundred percent sure if that's what it's called, but it's like an additive that you can put into your diesel fuel, which I was doing my very first year living in my van. And I did it more so because I was concerned about my diesel gelling up in the cold temperatures. And we're, we're staring down the barrel of some very cold temperatures coming up soon. Now, obviously it's not a problem for the tank that's in Lucky, because Lucky will stay nice and warm. But the Rotopax that's on the side of Grace is another story. Now, most of the time, Canadian diesel probably already has that additive in it. So it's probably unnecessary for me to be doing it for that reason. However, I got to thinking about all of the nonsense that I've had to go through with my diesel heater. Something is in my eye, what is happening? Ugh. All of the nonsense I've been going through lately with my diesel heater, I'm thinking back to the very first time I cracked it open and it wasn't dirty, and that was after over a year of using it. That clean flow stuff or whatever it is called was the only stuff that I put into my diesel, right? So maybe it kept it from gelling up, but maybe it also was helping the diesel I was putting through my diesel heater a little cleaner. We won't know unless we try, and we probably won't know even if we do try, but I'm gonna do it anyway, cause I'm scared out of low temps. All right. Tally ho, Grace. And your tires gotta get their poop in a group. Let's shove off. Wait a second. Make sure you can see where you're going. All right, here we go. There's one. Come on. There's two. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, before I get to the red light. No, no. Well, two out of four ain't bad. Red light. She got a heated steering wheel. She's a little chilly in here and heat my butt up, why not? Another feature I like on this temperature control in this newer vehicle is the auto function. It's great, you just set your temperature wherever you want it. In this case, burn my balls off because it's a little cold out. It's not that bad, it's like minus four degrees Celsius. But hit that auto button and she just takes care of it herself, which is great. In Lucky, you gotta wait for the engine to come up to temp and then slowly increase the fan speed, which this will do all on its own. Um, just because you don't want to cause damage to the cracks on the windshield. And then it'll also, you know, once I drop it down from burn my balls off down to a more moderate temperature, it'll keep it at that quite comfortably. It works great. All right, let's go. Get your poops in a group, tires. Drive more still. There we go. Woo! Barely around the block. We're back in business. Still can't believe I <laughs> haul this Jeep all the way over that mountain and back all the way from BC. Well, to BC and back. It's super fun. I love it. Um, you can definitely tell there's dirt in places that aren't normally there or that or something. Like, I don't know, like it's like her brakes are burning or something. Something's burning. Is it the auto feature? She's a little smelly. It's funny too, being back uh, in the city, I usually am just like, Ugh! and I kind of was on the drive in because inevitably, as soon as I get into the city, some jackass is making my life miserable by driving like an idiot. That's just par for the course, living in the city. With more people, there's just more stress and blah, blah, blah. And whilst that did happen, it's kind of nice to be back at the very first Walmart I went to and slowly getting back into being here. Like I just got here, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna be getting ahead of myself. 
one feature I don't like is this auto start stop, so I just turned that off. But I already have a sense of uh, calm. Maybe it's probably because I'm going to get my kid. Let's get serious. There's something to be said for a little bit of routine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Just don't want to let the routine rule your life. All right, so I'm going to rip up the hill here to the car wash that my buddy kind of sort of owns via his family. I'm going to get this nasty whip cleaned right up. Got to get all this car washing done sooner rather than later because, uh, like I said, those temperatures are about to drop. I, there's one more day of grace <laughs> um, before it really starts to get bad, unless, of course, the forecast changes. But tomorrow is supposed to be a high of minus one, whereas today was a high of minus five here in Calgary. So get grace cleaned up today. And I'm going to spend the evening with my kid, maybe open some mail and sort of call that a day. And then tomorrow I will probably get lucky road ready. Road ready. Road ready. Got a tongue tied. And I'll bring her up here as well. Uh, chances are it's going to be very busy. Ooh, I also have my first physical therapy appointment tomorrow. Ha! Huh. Sneak in this way. Because I can't. Beep, beep. I'm in a Jeep. Yeah, I got that first. So maybe we will. Oh, do I want to take Lucky all the way over there, though? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It's quite a ways away. So maybe we take Grace to the PT meeting and come back and get lucky. That kind of sounds like a plan. Here we are. Hey, perfect timing. She looks like she's leaving. She's gonna have to get back out to open the door. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, lady. All right, we're gonna pull in, we'll wait for her to pull out. <laughs> Everybody just calm down and then we'll pull into her spot. Just so we're not being that douche in the back. <coughs> Nobody likes that guy. Just waiting for her. There we go. Perfect. Okay. <sighs> Grace, you stink. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about her floor mats because there's nothing I can do about the ground outside that my feet carry in there. I can do something about the chilliness of this. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ooh. But what I do want to do is wash up all of the uh, hitch equipment for when Greg Lucky's for when for when Lucky is towing her. I can't speak right now. So we're gonna bring this over. And we're gonna there, clean it up. It's very schmutzy right now. And we got these two. This nasty frog clean the effa. Advent calendar. Girl, it's January. You got like 11 months to go before your next advent calendar. <laughs> Speaking of routine, how was your day? Yeah. Where, where's my advent calendar? You ate all the chocolate in the advent calendar. It's in your belly. Well, it's actually probably not there anymore. How about we get another advent calendar next December? Um, what's that over there? 
That's cereal. Daddy was making a point. You want to try some? Yeah. It's French Toast Crunch. Daddy got this in radium. There you go. Give that a whirly whirl. Don't get it everywhere, though. I'll try one. Mm. Oh, it's lovely and stale. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have dinner, but we gotta get some mail and you wanna come to Canadian Tire with me? Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's go get some stuff that keeps the diesel maybe clean and thawed. I don't know. What did you just say? Maybe the Before that, what did you say? If we see what? If we see the Jeep, we don't put the book ducky on. The book ducky? This one? Yeah. All right, we gotta keep your eyes peeled for another Jeep, okay? okay. Then we'll give him the book, Ducky. That's a good idea, kiddo. I see the mailbox. You see the mailbox? Yeah, it's over there, isn't it? Yeah. Can you do know that it's moody? Um, let's do it. Tally freaking ho! Tally freaking ho. That's right. Hey, there's a blue Jeep. She's, she's driving, though. You can't. Yeah. Don't want to duck a Jeep that's in motion. That's ill-advised. Well, here we are. All right. You coming in? Yes. All right. We don't need that right now, do we? That's no. for later. That's for later. You get that door open? Good job. All right, go ahead. I'll hold it. After you. Hello, hello. Um, How are you? Uh, I know, right? She's ready for the step. Can you say Happy New Year? Happy New Year. Nailed it. You too. Uh, excuse me, you're past the line. Do you work for the UPS store now? <laughs> All right, you stay here. I'm going to go have dinner. <laughs> stay with me now? You're going to stay here and do some work? No. No. Not work. I'm not going to make you work. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Ooh. What do you say? Red. What do you say for the stamp? Thank you. Better. You're welcome. <laughs> How have things been around here? Busy lately. That's good. Da 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 Content, quality content, we're almost there. Aha! It is by Clean Flow. You were just looking at this red thing? It's a three and a half ton jack. Is that what you need? Yeah, baloney. We're following the toddler. Excellent. Okay. But yes, also, there we go. Diesel fuel conditioner contains anti gel properties. So, not crazy. You don't need much, it goes a long way. This is what we're going to toss into the Rotopex. Good shot, right in there. All right. Well, 
probably time for dinner. I made a big deal about this the last time I talked about it on the channel, about the right ratio and measuring and all that good stuff. I'm gonna go with the whole just a dabble do ya mentality this time. Just kinda, whoa. There, that should be good. This stuff will last forever. Hi, Penny. <laughs> yes, we hear you. You've been hiding away in a tiny home, nice and warm. Good old diesel heater tick, tick, ticking away. <sighs> All right. Getting hunkered down here for the night now. Got my little girl back to her mom's. Yes. I do have a couple of things to open up here um, from some subscribers. I think we're going to save this for the morning, though, or um, whenever I'm done at my doctor's appointment. Penny! <laughs> <laughs> just because I, I'm, I'm tired. I just kind of want to crawl into bed, get a good night's sleep, and uh, get the day off on the right foot, eh? Right? Right? Oh, what the matter? Oh, she looks, she knows where the treats are. I think you've had enough treats for a while. Mm -hmm. So that was that plan. So I'm uh, gonna get this off, get into my night garments, and crawl into bed. We will catch up in the morning. I know. <laughs> Mwah! It's morning. <laughs> and it's actually quite a beautiful morning. The sky is breaking up and we're gonna have some blue today, which is a little unexpected, and uh, like I was talking about earlier, today is going to be the last quote unquote warm day for a while. So, just walking into Walmart to use the facilities, and then we're going to get back into Lucky, fire her up, get over to my first PT meeting, and um, I guess I should say appointment, PT appointment, eh? and then we're going to get her uh, get her washed off and take advantage of that warmer bit of day <laughs> because tomorrow. Mm -mm. been here before but oh there it is I was gonna say I don't know how hard it'll be to find turns out real easy so still that's yeah, pretty good time 17 minutes oh can I get in this way bloody parking lot construction I tell you it's winter nobody's constructing anything right now what's happening can I get in here no <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go around the block. All right, well, whatever, this happens. Getting to know the lay of the land. So, as I mentioned before, I don't feel like I need physical therapy, but I 
completely realize that that's probably an irrational feeling um, because of the intensity or the severity, I should say, of the surgery that I had. And it was pretty serious stuff, right? Splitting muscles and drilling screws into bone and this, that, and the other thing. Yeah, they really don't want you getting in here. I am gonna have to pop a shitter right up here because I'm not too familiar with this neighborhood. I realize that, uh, yeah, me feeling like I don't need it is not the, the best basis for not doing it. I don't know, anyway, I'm going to do it <clears throat> and we'll see what it entails and it'll probably be a lot of take home exercises from what I've heard from people, which didn't have a lot of room in my tiny home. So we may have to go re-up the gym membership as well. That's okay, the only reason I didn't re-up my gym membership uh, the last time was because there was gonna be so much back and forth travel over the holidays. You do it one month at a time, right? So, all right, where is the bloody entrance? There you go, it's able to back in. Just how I like it. <laughs> no, mm, everybody just calm down. All right, I'm gonna hop in here, see what this is all about, and we will catch up. When I'm done, and we'll see what it is they say. Penny, you hold down the fort, okay? I will be back soon. We will close this so you retain as much heat as possible. Okay. But well, that'll open your eyes up to everything that's going on in your body. Yeah, so it was just an assessment more than anything. Get to know the therapist, which was great. Um, and in, in true fashion, I guess, um, I'm a lot weaker on my left side than I thought I was. That was the first thing they ask is if, if I've noticed any sort of reduced strength or weakness in my left side, which is the side where my surgery was on. I'm talking about like down my leg and in my foot and whatnot. And of course, I don't feel like there is, but then through very minor assessing, Oh yeah, there's a lot of weakness there. So gonna hopefully be able to attack this quite quickly and, and, and get it strengthened up and all of that good stuff. A lot of stuff in my glutes and my hips and my, I don't know, ankles and legs and just bloody everywhere, right? Uh, major surgery sort of caused a lot of trauma to my body apparently. It's gonna be interesting. I'm definitely not a, um, I'm, never, I'm not a workout guy, but when it comes to this, I definitely wanna do the best I can to, um, ensure that it sort of doesn't happen again and to just get myself back to a place of having you know i guess strength where i don't uh so it's gonna start kind of basic but like i was saying i'm gonna need space to do the few exercises she has given me so far i shouldn't even say exercises mostly she just has me starting with stretching and then staying on walking and uh swimming of course is very good so as i mentioned i will have to re-up that gym membership and not only that whilst I have my swimsuit and I can do that fine, I've got like nothing to wear when it comes to sort of like going into a gym environment and doing that stuff. I suppose I could just wear my big ass bulky flannels. Might be a little awkward and a pain in the rear end to do any sort of working out or stretching in that kind of clothing. So I guess I'm gonna have to go find myself something. I don't even have runners, right? I've got boots and flip flops. I guess I have Converse, but I don't even know where those are probably my cousin's garage somewhere. So maybe I should get myself some runners because with the temperatures that are coming up with how cold it's going to be, I'm not gonna be wanting to do a lot of walking outside and a good pair of runners would probably help uh, me stay on top of that. So a lot of big changes. Uh, I shouldn't say big changes. I should just say a lot of new necessities. Well, we gotta go wash Lucky first. Let's get that done. And then maybe we go get some shopping done, find some sort of Nice stretchy shorts. I don't know what I'm doing. Yep. Let's see how the old Horton car wash is doing today. Some room, you got half the place shut down. Penny. <laughs> Here we go again, eh? Foggy. <sighs> so, if car washes, it's also a great time to get rid of any sort of little garbage you might have. 
And for me, it is a great time to clean somebody's poop box. Not a lot of poop in it, but with the wood pellets that I use, when she pees on them, they turn into sawdust. We can sift it down to the bottom tray and then we just chuck her. So I think that is what we will do first. Wow, it's just so all sorts of messy back here. Oof. There we go. Going back to say hello. Hello. <laughs> this is what we gotta get out. I'm gonna clean your toilet. Yes, I am. Don't mind me. Get y'all stocked up for the deep freeze that's on its way, buddy. All the fresh wood pellets. <laughs> Quality content. Quality content. Okay. And number two, let's get rid of the garbage we have. It always sucks when the garbage is get too full. He's living in a van. Got those chores done. Now we just gotta get Lucky clean. And she should be good to go. Just sit still for a little bit. Once that temperature drops. Mm. Alright. I'm just gonna take care of this. See you in a minute. Lucky is nice and clean. Hopefully she doesn't freeze up too much. Like I said, today will be mild, she should be fine. And now I'm gonna rip over to a walk-in clinic over here because my gabapentin prescription for my uh, post-surgery and all that is about to run out. And my surgeon in my last follow-up meeting just said, just go to a walk-in clinic because uh, I don't have a family doctor. I just go to a walk-in clinic and they can help you out. So the problem with not having a family doctor involved in this whole situation is I almost, I have to explain myself almost every single time I go to a walk-in clinic, but my biggest concern is just getting weaned off the gabapentin properly. So I'm gonna go in there, see how busy they are. Chances are if I have to wait, that'll be okay because there is a shoe store in the same complex. We can go over there and find a pair of uh, runners for this inevitable gym endeavor we're about to go on. So that's that plan. Let's see what's available. First, we've got to find a spot to park the tiny home on wheels. That should work. Avast, dead ahead. Long as the good ship Mazda doesn't, you son of a bitch. All right, fine, I'll go up here. <laughs> oh, just, it says small cars only anyway. <laughs> Lucky, you are not a small car. So we're gonna go on the end of this row here. Plenty of room to back the good ship Lucky up once we need to. There, not so bad. Now let's just give Fur Baby a little bit of a uh, stealth cover here. Yes, darling. A little bit of column A. Ugh. A little bit of column B. There we go. All right, Miss P. You take care of the house. I'll be right back. Not that busy. Got in pretty much right away. So I'm just going to play some games on my phone. And once I get this sorted out, then we'll go shoe shopping. Actually, the nurse that just checked me in and took my heart rate and pulse and all that stuff. She was wearing a nice pair of New Balance. I asked her if they were comfy and she said, yeah, they're very comfy. Good for walking, not for running, which works great because I don't plan on running unless I'm being chased. All right, we got a prescription refill for the gabapentin. No muss, no fuss there. No progress to wean myself off of it yet though, but I'm not having any of the side effects that come with it. So whatever, I'm gonna take it for a little bit longer. That's a-okay. Still gonna rip over to the shoe. No, I'm not, it's gone. Oh man, when did the shoe store leave? Oh, they moved. Never mind, they're still here. 
Uh, you know what? Maybe I will walk. We'll put this in the van. Hello, Finny. Put that there. Go to the shoe store. See what we can find. Maybe a nice pair of those New Balance shoes the check-in nurse was wearing. Try them on and see. And then we'll go to the mall because the pharmacist that I go to to get that filled is there as well. And then when at the mall, maybe I can find some sort of gym attire. Although anything at the mall is probably going to be very pricey, so might not be the best idea. Yeah, right over there. That's where we're going. They used to be right there. I know you were, uh, you were very curious and concerned, I can tell. Ooh, check this out, a blue Chevy Express. I don't think I've ever seen a blue one. A little bit of a minor camper conversion up top. Looks pretty stock inside though. Very nice. Easy peasy, done and done. Flashy little red go fasts. <laughs> that we can have clean feet in the gym because they always make you take your gross shoes off anyway, so. Cool, all right, that's one piece down. Let's get over to the mall, get the next piece done. All right, just pulling into the mall parking lot here. We are gonna pull over to this quiet side. And I think we'll pull right up in here so we don't really have to worry about blocking Penny off. Nobody should be. He'd been too hard over this way. Right, you don't need any peepers on you, do ya? No peepers. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Go we'll get it filled and maybe find some shorty shorts. They should have workout stuff, right? All that stuff is just a little pricey. I think for the first time, we'll just use what we have and see how that goes before I start investing in a whole bunch of clothes that will probably become obsolete after about eight weeks. <sighs> All right, I'm getting freaking hungry. I think it's before I go back down and park lucky for a lengthy duration. <laughs> Yeah, enjoy some lunch and open up some packages. So let's get back into the tiny house, have a eat to bite, and see what we got. <sighs> All right, I got a windshield blocker in the way. Let's move that to the front seat for new shoes here. Spin around. <laughs> Close the door, turn on the lights, have a seat <clears throat> on your poop bucket. As you do. Oh, garbage can. All crooked. Come on, there we go. All right, eggies. 
We got a couple packages here first. Let's bring those over here. That over there. Excellent. And actually, I also got a couple of greeting cards in the mail yesterday. Uh, one came from Kelvin, I believe, and he sent me this awesome Tortuga sticker. I wonder if I can get that on Lucky before it gets too cold. We did just clean her. And Kelvin, thank you very much for your card. I appreciate it. And I got another one <laughs> from uh, Diane who sent me the toothpaste. Thank you very much, Diane. Using that currently, appreciate it. And she also sent a little bit of a joke and I got a good laugh out of that. So thank you very much, my dear, for your greeting card. All right, let me get a little bit more comfortable here. We're gonna ooh, take off one layer. We don't need all these layers. Not that cold, everybody just relax into the fridge. Oh no, it's the last two eggs. Guess I'm gonna have to buy some more and get to boiling. All right, get my little setup with my paper towel here. Hey, sorry, I need to get this in my body ASAP. i hungry. Ah, yes. Salt and pepper, please. I know some people freak out <laughs> when they see me put salt on here. They obviously think I'm putting too much on. But the truth is, this little thing is actually chock full of kosher salt, so it's large and the holes are small. So you really gotta shake the bejeebus out of it to get anything to come out. And then just take that good old chicken embryo and... Oh, and egg number two. Okay. Oh, I need a garbage bag in there. And I'm sitting on the place where I keep my garbage bags. Huh, right out of the pooper. Probably be better to keep the spare garbage bags in the garbage can itself. But I tend to kick my garbage can off its mount quite a bit. And the added weight of the extra garbage bags in there makes it go bang a lot louder. There we go. Okay. All right. So we have a package here from Connie Lentz down in Montauk. I believe is how you say that. I could be wrong. <laughs> just, I just saw on the label what it is. <laughs> Hi! How do you open this? It's sealed up real good for my protection. It's a little knitted hat. Aw, that's cute. Is it for me or Brooklyn? It's in a Ziploc bag for my protection. A little card in here. Here's a hat I knit for Brooklyn while I was recovering from my knee surgery and needed something to do with my hands. It was about the same time as your back surgery and your courage inspired me. Oh, if it doesn't fit or she doesn't like it, find another child to give it to. I won't be offended. Kids are hard to please sometimes. It's machine washable, but do not put it in the dryer. Oh, best wishes for a wonderful holiday. So this obviously came a little bit late, Connie. Thank you so much. That is beautiful. You did such a good job. Look at that with the Christmas trees on it. Um, I will absolutely give this to Brooklyn. And as soon as she outgrows it, I know a little man who we can pass it along to as well. That was very thoughtful of you, Connie. I hope your recovery is going well. Now I got this, I believe is from Alan. Gave me a little bit of a heads up on Patreon. Yeah, Alan over in the UK, right? Let's see here. It's very flat and long. Let me see. Ah. Okay, that was a tough bet. Are you kidding me with the more seals here? I can't open the drawer right now. We're just gonna use the Leatherman. Ah, uh -huh. let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh my gosh. What is all this? There's a whole bunch of paperwork in here and every other damn thing. Hey, cards are falling out. What is this? Hey, that's Alan. He sent me his, oh, hello, you're district council over in, I don't know, the UK somewhere. West Chillington, Fakhamham, and Ashington. Wow. Am I being sued? That's a packing slip. Oh, there's a card. Okay. Start with a card. Oh, it's pretty. Look at that landscape. Very wintry. Matthew, Merry Christmas. Alan. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'll tell you put a lot of thought into that. I'm kidding. Relax. Oh, Dinah. Oh, that's because you made a whole big story here. Okay. Yeah, that makes up for the card. <laughs> Aw, is that a picture of you and your wife? I don't know if you'd want me to show it, so I won't, but thank you very much. The whole little backstory here. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at these. Holy Dinah. Okay, there's two of them. Check that out. <laughs> Do we think that'll fit on the front of her? It even says Van Life Plus YouTube on it. And it's got my, well, my star sign over there, I'm a Libra. And look at that Irish flag. Wow, and then there's a yellow one too. But these, these aren't, these aren't magnets, are they? No, they're gonna be mounted, right? Need some metal. 
No, they're not. Those are super cool though, Alan. Thank you so much. Well, I'm going to have to make a Patreon post about this. Very cool. These are the British style plates. They're extra long and a little stubbier this way. That looks so cool. Thank you very much, Alan. I appreciate that, sir. Okay, and I just happened to stop at my mailbox before I got to the mall, and there was another package in there. Let's see what is inside. This comes from Mary Bonner in Amarillo, Texas. Amarillo, by morning. Amarillo is where I'll be. What is that guy? <gasps> Look how cool that is. There's a letter on the bottom. It's a, hang on. Very packed in here, you did a great job. It just says, Happy New Year from Mary and Jace. No worries, Van. Duck, duck, Jeep. Oh, sorry your Christmas present is so ducking late. Now prepare for the best ducking ever. The best, oh, the best ducking ever, I get it. Yeah, look at that duck. Oh, look at that duck. That's massive. This huge, it's a duck wearing a T-Rex costume. That's adorable. <laughs> I can't wait to show that to Brooklyn tonight. So cool. Yeah, that'll have to ride in grace. I don't think I'll be able to let Brooklyn give that one away. Holy Dinah. Thank you very much, you two. Greatly appreciated. Oh, okay. Well, I better get rid of some of this packing. I'm gonna save this toque. We gotta get that into the Jeep for Brooklyn this evening. And then I guess we should, uh, we should get the tiny home on wheels back down to Hotel Walmart before the weather takes a turn for the worst. heater going on full blast for a bit here. Now that we got a nice full tank of diesel, everything's good to go. Oh, got to empty out the old windshield sucking vacuum. Ooh. Say bye bye to you, nasty water. That was probably overdue to get done. Okay, uh, refill. This is now going to become the gym bag. So, where are our fancy new kicks? Ugh. First of all, get your wet kicks off. Yikes. And transform the home into home mode, out of drive mode. Hoop bucket on the driver's seat. Done. Shoes. Hee <laughs> hee. Take off the little tags. I don't need those but they do say that they're machine washable, so that's nice. Oh. That in there. Now we'll grab another t-shirt and some sweatpants. And that will be our gym attire. And tomorrow morning will be the first time I will go and start implementing the physical therapy that will hopefully get me back to where I need to be. Anyway, this has sort of been a long day. Not, not entirely, but between yesterday and today. I gotta go get my little girl. So I'm gonna leave this one here and say until the next one, as always, go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves, most importantly, be positive, and remember, only dead fish go with the flow. All right, now I gotta go buy some more eggs.